Hi guys, it's Alan. Ni hao. What's it, Alan? And today we're going to be talking about some navy essentials to have for the winter. Now, why navy? Why essentials? Um, well, navy is one of my favorite colors and it dominates 80% of my wardrobe. Everything else is really just a supplement, right? Um, and I feel like a lot of people have navy in their wardrobe, but they don't really know how to move beyond it. A lot of people come into the shop and say, hey, I already have a navy jacket, I already have a navy suit, but to be honest, you cannot have enough. And once you know navy works for you, you can get so many different things in the same color, but different, all right? So today, we're gonna to be looking at a lot of different fabrics, a lot of different textures, but in predominantly in navy. Now, one of the biggest or most important things that I think you should have in your wardrobe, especially for this winter, now that we're moving towards a more casual sort of work setting and just in general a casual wardrobe, is you know you need a, a, a reliable sports coat to, to take you through the colder weather. And what better than a nice chunky Harris tweed? Um, now, in terms of tweeds, what's great about it is that it has so much beautiful texture. It's very hardy and it'll just last you such a long time. Now, this is from Holland and Sherry. Now, this is, uh, I mean, it's, we work with Orazio Luciano, so this is a Orazio Luciano Holland and Sherry book. And this is from their Harris Tweed line. Now there's so much in here. Now the nice thing about tweeds, especially in these kind of colors, is that there's so much color in it. Now in this book in particular, I actually cannot find a true navy Harris Tweed, but you have things like this. For example, this blue with a navy base that can make up beautifully. I already have one in my wardrobe made up by a Neapolitan tailor. Super soft, unstructured. Um, there's not one in here, but um, I'm sure we'll be able to find it. But the point is, a navy Harris tweed, you can, you can pair it with you know denim, with chinos, obviously with lots of cords, and essentially any color of uh, outfit that you have underneath, it'll just work with a Navy Harris tweed jacket. So that's number one. Now moving down the line, sort of not, or not down the line, but more upscale is um, the nice, beautiful, expensive jacket that you have. Now in terms of cashmere jackets or Vicuña jackets, you know, everyone I think has to have one. I think you have all your basics, but if you wanna reach for something that you really truly treasure, it should be that cashmere jacket. Uh, and in some cases, then you have the Vicuña as well. Now Vicuña, obviously, where better else to go than Dormui. And they have this beautiful jacketing weight Vicuña, which is right, ah, cannot find it. Ah, this is it. Now what's the benefits of the Vicuña? Obviously, the feel is out of, this world. I mean, it's super soft. Um, it just feels like butter. And uh, the one terrible thing that will happen when you're wearing this jacket is that everyone will come up to you and start touching your jacket and feeling it and just complimenting on how soft it is. Uh, but Obviously, it is a light jacket that keeps you warm during the harshest of weathers, right? So that's the benefit of um, the cashmere. Now, there are obviously other options as well. Um, this one is from, where is this from? This is from Eurotex. And Eurotex has quite a few different uh, patterns and obviously they have really nice sort of mixes uh, in terms of browns and and I guess these kind of barley corn weaves and even this almost looks like Saxony type uh, uh, Shetland type jacketing, but it's actually 100% cashmere. Now the navies and blues that you have in here are pretty amazing as well. So this is a nice herringbone, 100% cashmere, super soft to the touch, but you can see that there's a lot of navies and different shades of blues woven throughout. And this provides not only a lot of uh, nice 
um, colors to pair it with, but also it provides a lot of depth. So when you see it, it's not just a flat piece of uh, navy cashmere. It's, uh, th there's a richness to it that you can't explain uh, straight off the bat until you get up close and you see that there's a lot of uh, interesting things going on within the fabric itself. Now, now that we've covered you know, the sports jacket in terms of that Harris tweed and also obviously um, the cashmere, then we move on to the more of the suiting. Uh, stuff. Um, now suiting wise, um, obviously in the winter one of the most beautiful fabrics to have is the flannel suit. Now the navy flannel suit is something special. Uh, obviously the, you, you see a lot of navy suits out there that just work, right? You know the color works, you know the tailoring um, in terms of the fit works already. Now all you need to do is swap over to a blue like this that has that sort of raised um, milled texture. The milling is essentially that, that effect um, that you have on the surface of the fabric that raises um, a lot of the fibers so that it can trap a lot of air and keep you warm. The sort of, uh, well, it acts as insulation um, to trap in the heat uh, and keep you warm during the cold. Uh, but not only is it practical, it also looks really beautiful. Now, the only bad thing about flannel is that typically it tends to wear very quickly. Um, wearing very quickly meaning that you might get that um, mirror um, effect that you have on some fabrics and also it tends to just wear out um, in terms of uh, creating a hole where there's a lot of friction. Now, the way around it or the way to essentially have a longer lasting flannel is to choose something like this. Now, if you see this, it says wool worsted flannel. Now, a worsted flannel is a very different being. It is essentially a lot of yarns that have been twisted. So traditionally speaking, a lot of the worsted wools that you have out there are twisted, but flannel typically is uh, not that way, which helps with the milling. Um, and helps give it that effect. But once you have a wool worsted flannel, it lasts you a bit longer. Um, now, having said that, um, you know, you might want something a bit more classic. Now, in the, in the classic sense, uh, we're talking about that wool worsted fabric. Um, and now you can play with a lot heavier fabrics. And the heavier fabrics always have a nice sort of texture, depth, and sort of, it's a very different body to it. Right. In Hong Kong itself, we have things that are around 10, 11 ounce. Uh, that's already heavy for a city. So in the 10, 11 ounce, we have a very open weave, but typically in terms of something that's closely woven like this, we tend to go for something like seven, eight ounce. Now, winter is the only time that we get to use a 13, 14, 15 ounce wool. And part of the beauty of such a heavy wool is that you get that beautiful drape, that uh, amazing body and shape that a lot of the tailors can really iron and put into the garments, right? And so something like this is amazing. Um, this is from uh, Holland and Cherry as well. So very easy to find. I picked a lot of uh, books that are easy to find for you guys. This is from the classic Warsteps book. Uh, now, I love the navies, again, that have a little bit of depth, a lot of interest, a little bit of texture. Um, this is uh, almost like a mini or a very tight herringbone. Now, why I chose this is because it essentially is a solid suit, but with the mini or small and tight herringbone, you get to have that texture without sacrificing that solid, very classic look. All right, so this is something that would be beautiful um, for the winter. So very heavy worsted, essentially. Now along that same line is the, the uh, cover cloth and also the whip cord. Now there's a lot of cover cloth out there, um, obviously. And now what we're trying to look for in terms of cover cloth is something, again, with that texture, that depth, um, and with cover cloth, actually a lot of the navies tend to be quite flat. So what we have here is a book from Holland and Cherry again. Now this is the summer variety, um, but in Hong Kong, what we have here is a uh, very uh, warm, well, it's a relatively warm winter. So we don't necessarily need something that's too, too heavy. 
but something like this will suffice because it's so uh, tightly woven already all we need to do is layer on top of it we wouldn't be able to wear this in the summer actually because it's just way too uh, uh, well we need something breathable here but something like this and let's say a 120s now this is the tech lana but we can easily find something that's uh, fully wool but the main point is to look at the texture right and now this one um, you can see a bit of that luster and sheen to it but i'm not too worried about that more i'm more focused on um, the depth of that twill that you can sort of see uh, moving through the fabric now as long as that's there and that's apparent i would like to see this made into a full suit so uh, Again, classics wise, you have the heavy worsted and you have a nice textured uh, whip cord or cover cloth that will go into your wardrobe quite well. Now, finally, what you have is something a bit more casual. Now, uh, in terms of a casual suit, what can you wear in the winter um, that, uh, that's beautiful? It has to be the corduroy suit. This is the only cotton really that you can wear in the winter. I'm sure somebody else will start comments that say, you know, there's something else like that, moleskin, for example, velvet, I don't know. But this is the navy suit to have for a uh, casual suit, all right? And here we have a navy corduroy, obviously lots of texture. Uh, it's never to be confused with a formal suit. And it's something that you can wear very easily on the weekends and look amazing. And there you have it, you know, uh, a whole bunch of navy essentials for the winter. Thanks for watching, guys.